Immersed Robot. Hello everyone, welcome to Immersed Robot yet again and this time I just wanted to do a very quick video um, just looking at the performance of Elite Dangerous in stations on an RTX 3080. Um, I did do a more in-depth video last time uh, which looked at the performance uh, in space and on planets, planetary landings and that kind of stuff. You can check that video out, um, it's on the channel. and. In this one, I did because I did omit space stations in that video um, because I wasn't near any stations at that time when I recorded that video. So I just wanted to make this quick one just to show you how the game looks uh, with space stations um, and how it performs in them as well because they are sort of the, one of the main areas which don't perform too great in VR. Um, but with an RTX 3080, we can probably get them running okay. They're always going to be a problem, I think. They're, they're, just, uh, they're just a demanding area of the game. And, but as you can see at the moment, I'm just outside Houses Reach in Ribigo. Um, I'm doing some uh, passenger, mis uh, passenger missions at the moment, uh, just trying to make a little bit of money. And Ribigo, the uh, Ribigo Mines, is sort of a notoriously good uh, little passenger run that you can do to make a bit of money in this game. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. But this is this station in Rubigo anyway, Houses Reach. So let's request docking and go inside. I will. I'll use the uh, the auto dock just to go inside. So you can see that I'm running it, the game at 90 hertz in the index, 90 frames per second. We are maintaining that more or less outside the station and in space. It's running no problem at, at 90 frames per second. Uh, we've got Steam VR super sampling at 150. I will show you my in-game settings. They're on a custom setting at the moment. So you can see as we enter through here, it starts to drop down and use reprojection as we pass through the mailbox. So once we're through there, it is, it's almost trying to sort of creep back up to the 90 FPS. Um, but really it's settling back on reprojections. So we're, we're running at 45 FPS basically. It's uh, reprojecting constantly while in the space station there. Um, let me just go in and show you some of my settings in game. Uh, so on these settings that I currently have here. So we've got custom settings. You can see I've got a few things that are turned up to like texture quality we've got on high. Um, draw distance. Super sampling I've kept at uh, 1.0 but the HMD quality, the image quality is at 1.25. These are two things that make uh, quite a big difference to performance. Um, so you can see I've got a few high settings, few medium. What I'll do, let me just go in and we'll change it to VR medium just to get some kind of baseline from this. Then I'll disable the dock in computer and we'll just have a quick fly around in here. Let me reset view. Okay, so let's just uh, disable the docking computer. Then we'll launch now. Keeping in mind this is on uh, medium VR medium settings. Still got well, we've got, we've, so we're on uh, 90 FPS now in the station. Let's just see how it performs as we fly around. <laughs> Can't hang around too long in here, but uh, you can see. So on VR medium, we are getting sort of uh, 90 FPS pretty comfortably here. Yeah, it's maintaining it quite well actually. I was surprised at that. I didn't realise it was got it would do that. So uh, my custom settings are a little bit too high for the VR medium. Let's just get out of here. Just. Uh, so I don't cause any trouble. What I'll do, let's um, I'll just get away from the station a little bit and then we'll request docking again. I'll go back in and we'll just see what it does on VR high. So let me just change a few of these settings. In fact, we'll 
we will use the other preset. We'll go for uh, VR high on this. I don't think it will maintain FPS on that native FPS anyway. Um, but let's have a quick look. Let's reset view again. Okay, let's request docking. So yeah, even even ha out here, um, dropping a little bit there. It seems okay now. Let's just go back in. So I'm in the Python ship in Elite here as well. I'm sure that the uh, the ships do make a difference to performance. Yeah, we're dropping back down again now to uh, reprojection. So that makes sense. It's not really surprising here, to be honest. Um, I think uh, VR High is just tipping it over the, he the over the edge, really. But if you wanted to play at 90 FPS in stations, then it can be done now with an RTX 3080 um, on the presets that are built in. Um, so that's, you know, it's, it's worth doing if you want to play like that. To be honest, I'm happy with reprojection in stations anyway. It doesn't make too much of a difference to the game. Um, it's they're only sort of the stop gaps really. So um, I think they really do perform very similarly to planets uh, for the most part. So you can see that here anyway. Um, I just wanted to make this quick video just as an update to um, the previous one, just so I, I completed the test really, because um, it was something that I mentioned in the last video. So hopefully this gives you a bit more of an idea. It's not as thorough as my previous test, but uh, it should give you an idea of how it performs anyway. So hope that helps. Um, I will be doing some more videos on Elite Dangerous anyway. Um, I wanted to give some further thoughts on the Odyssey Alpha and I will continue to do that as we go through the phases of that so you can check that out as well I'll be doing probably that might be my next video actually uh, either later on this week or early next week so keep an eye out for that but thank you for watching this very brief little update recording in slightly a different way so a little bit uh, more rough and ready than usual but I uh, hope it helped you out anyway uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time Please hesitantly tap the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more concise and informative VR content. You can also join our Discord by clicking on the link in the description of this video. And, as always, I'll catch you on the flippity flip.